Hey everyone, how are things? My name is Vinicius Deschamps and in today's video I'm going to show how to enable the accelerated networking resource in an existent virtual machine. The idea in enabling the accelerated networking resource is to reduce latency, jitter and CPU utilization and improve the communication between two or more VMs. As you can see here in the Microsoft documentation there is a diagram explaining how things work without and with accelerated networking. Without accelerated networking, as you can see, the communication that will happen from VM1 to VM2 will need to pass through a lot of layers, like a physical server that is hosting the VM1, a network card, a physical switch in between the VMs, and also the network card and the physical server that hosts the VM2. So, with accelerated networking, we remove all these layers and will allow the communication to happen way faster than without accelerated networking, reducing latency, and improving the communication between the VMs. Currently, there is no way to perform this change using the Azure portal, so we are going to perform it through PowerShell. And as a side note, the script is in the description of this video and in my blog as well. In addition to that, to perform the following steps, your virtual machine must be in a stopped state, either deallocated or just stopped. And if your VM is part of an availability set, all VMs of the availability set must be stopped to proceed, so they could be allocated in a cluster that supports accelerated networking. One more thing before we proceed, I'm going to check if my existent VM uh, has the accelerated networking enabled or not, so we can proceed with the script. So I click it on proximity 01, and then I navigate through networking, and let's check. So accelerated networking is currently disabled. So let's execute the script. And by the way, this is the script that I'm going to run, and it's available in my blog in the description of this video, just a reminder. Let's execute it. And ban. So if you read my blog post, you probably remind, uh, recalls that these accelerated networking uh, requires, has some requirements prior to run. And because there are some sizes of networking of uh, virtual machines that cannot enable it. So you have to change the size of your virtual machine. So that's the case and I want to demonstrate that this happens if, in just in case your VM does not support accelerated networking. I'm going to change some parameters in my script because I already have a, a, a second uh, virtual machine ready and we will deploy against it. All right, I changed the parameters in the script, so let me clean that mess. And um, I already connected to the proximity O2 VM, and uh, I double checked that the accelerated networking is disabled. And just to let you know, in the overview, here's the size that is supported by uh, to enable accelerated networking, standard DS3 V2. So back to the networking, and uh, let's execute that script. All right, the script has finished, so the output is way different from the first one that we tried, right? So as you can see in the output, we do have we do see the enable accelerated networking true. So let's check in the Azure portal. So it's currently disabled, but we don't have any refresh uh, button here. So let's click on the overview and back to networking. And now we do see that accelerated networking is enabled. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it and I see you on my next one.